Yo, it's your boy Trigger the Down, and I'm back here with another video. And today, we got not one, not two, but three trailers, character trailers at that, for the new Bleach Rebirth of Souls game. Now, can't lie, didn't expect this to come so early. I didn't expect a lot of this stuff to come early, but right after the gameplay i guess their marketing strategy is really good they're not playing kind of makes me wonder what target date they're looking for for this game and i know it's probably a little early to really speculate on that but it's crazy that they just gave us three chairs like that before we start make sure you leave a like a comment let me know how you feel about these characters let me know how you feel about these trailers because i heard they're a little different format than what we getting for like sparking zero they're actually like explaining some characters in a little bit in depth more than like sparking zero where they're just showing like the cool specials and things like that without further ado let's get right into it we got Ichigo Kitasaki first off. Main character, bro. Main character. Zangetsu. Well, powerful reason. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Gave him a little description. Reverse. Mmm. Okay. I'm not losing. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all didn't show us the hollow mask in the gameplay. I don't want to see it in this trailer. Stop teasing me like that. High damage to the opponent easy to handle okay okay we might we might replay that a little bit we might replay that a little bit because i just want to read some of the descriptions just want to read them a little bit or maybe i should watch the other trailers then go back to the description let's do that let's do that let's let's say okay we got rukia i wish they would have just put them all together i think they're each like a minute and three seconds long bro Okay. I will defeat you here. Ooh, she looks a little fast. I ain't gonna lie. There's no escape. Be I can I. They used to be her favorite move. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. When watching the Bleach anime, bro, I swear that used to be like her favorite move. Hold on, where the bug? Okay, I, I get it. We ain't there yet. Hold on, I need to see that bunk eye. Strong restraint and an array ability. Okay, okay. Not mad at that one. Not mad at that one. Maybe we'll go over and look to see what her special moves actually did. Okay, okay. And then we got Ududu. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, but Ishida. Let's see, let's see. Quincy. A, a proud Quincy who pierces his enemies. Uh, that's all I read. <laughs> Wonder how fast he's gonna be able to move around. Cause Quincy's, uh, you know, especially Ishida, they got a, he got a counter move. Look at the stage too. Okay, he all over the place a little bit. Strong with range attacks that can be formed. Okay. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, first thing we'll do, we'll go over to Kurosaki. I just want to see what their special moves actually did, bro. Let's go let's scroll through here. First, let's read a powerful, a very powerful and resourceful in fighter. Ichigo is a substitute soul reaper who fights using his sword and hides his hides an unknown power within them. So they're kind of hinting at the fact that he's just OP. He's just OP. They're just hinting at the fact that he's OP. Come on, let's do this. Reverse. This is one of his action skills. Uh, reverse and action is key to offense and defense. Okay, in addition to effects of the normal reverse action, Ichigo is given various enhancements such as a boost in basic performance, changes in some actions, and an increase in damage from the Kikon move. So does it make certain moves appear different? Like, if you use it in a combo, if it can be used in a combo, will it change combos? Will it change? Will it just give you a basic buff? That's that's what I wonder. Special flash attack, a move that attacks while charging forward. Once it's something else here, the attack can be continued. If additional input is made during the attack, okay, so okay. Wielding an attack used by wielding Zangesu that momentarily makes Ichigo invincible. Ooh, what? So this is like a guard break move? You can't use okay, they not attack him from the side or back. Cause it kinda to me, if it was me, and I'm fighting Ichigo, I'm trying to get behind him if he's doing this. An additional attack, uh, an additional powerful attack is that way. Like if I'm using Ududu, I would try to get behind him, right? And then they had a yep. Ichigo, his his bankai basically. Ichigo's performance, speed, and defense dramatically increases as well as the number of additional special flash attacks, allowing for more aggressive attacks to be carried out. So does he just do the special flash attacks automatically now? The only thing that upsets me about Ichigo is he does not have a special move named Getsu Gatensho, which I feel like is an easy move that should have just been put in the game. Granted, it maybe it's in his combo strings or something like that, because he do be popping them. He do be popping them Getsu Gatensho's like they lays chips or something. Like he just be having them out there. So maybe they in at the end of his combos, but I haven't seen them all the way. So I don't know, bro. Alright, alright, alright. I know it's a little much to go over all three characters again, but I, it was kind of quick. Okay. Rukia, a kind-hearted soul reaper with an old-fashioned way of speaking. She has plenty of resources to adapt to her opponents in battle. She does, she does, she has maybe what? Like they went over what? Three moves from her. There's no <laughs> I do remember her saying this a lot in the anime, but released while stepping backwards, Biakarai makes Rukia momentarily invincible alone for punishing attacks. It's actually not bad. Okay. Follow. Oh, wait. I missed that one. Thought they were still on Biakarai. Okay. Here we go. Did they skip it? Uh, no, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A follow up Suikatsui. Suikatsui, a follow up attack that can be used after Rukia lunges and slashes successfully. So she can only use this after, like, a combo. Dance. So Yuki. Her Shikai. Releasing Shikai, so I don't know how to pronounce that, strengthens Wookiee's overall capabilities and transfer her spiritual pressure moves to complement. Okay. Okay, I ain't mad at that. And she gets a lot of these cool ice attacks. It seems like she damn near turns into a range character off of that, too. Not gonna lie. She's like a mid range. It's like they showed close range, mid range, and then we got Ishida showing us long range. That's what it kind of feels like they were trying to show us. Ish 
the Sheeta. Let's go back a little bit. A proud Quincy who pierces his enemies using a variety of long range attacks. We already knew that. They gave him such a simple description. Quincy arrow fires an arrow forward. If the arrow hits the opponent, Uruu uses Heron Kai Kui. I don't know how to pronounce that. To move in front of the opponent, it does a follow up attack that fires numerous arrows. So is this some of these moves you probably would use more in a combo than anything. Okay, I'm definitely not. By holding seal. Schneider, Uridu absorbs an opponent's attack and fires back a powerful one of his own. Let me see. Oh, so it's basically a counter. I do remember this. That's a counter. Okay. By activating Ron Soltengai, Uridu enhances his damage output and the amount of spiritual pressure he can acquire makes it easier to use his spiritual pressure move. So essentially kind of like how Quincy's are where they absorb all the, I know this from the anime because you know I'll be watching the Bleach anime, but essentially it, I'm guessing this move is somewhat similar to just how Quincy's are able to absorb the Reishi around them. And then you basically use that as his attack. So I guess he can, they're basically saying, okay, once he goes into Ransom Tenge, uh, essentially, from what it sounds like, he'll be able to use some of those special moves a lot more often and combo into him and all that. You'll just be able to use his special moves a little bit more, which is always a plus. I ain't mad at that. Yep. So essentially, you'll just be doubling up on special moves, which I'm not mad at. Not mad at all. All right, now without further ado, that's really it. That's really all they showed. Um, my question to you guys is just how do you feel about it? Because I'm not gonna lie, I can't say that Bleach Rebirth of Souls is on the level of what Sparking Zero is on right now, especially in terms of like marketing and the, the games are two completely different and I don't want to compare the two because I think they'll both be good games in their retro respective worlds. Let me get let me get up and close and personal with you guys. But but I can't lie, these character trailers, I don't know, I feel like they may have to tweak them, maybe, or maybe I'm just used to because Sparking Zero has dropped trailers the way it's done hyping up the characters and just showing us the stuff, rather than Bleach Rebirth of Souls, which doesn't seem, it seems like they're just really trying to explain to us the game and the mechanics and the different, like how characters are different from each other, rather than just hyping up every character. And maybe it's because it's a completely new game and people just want to really know how it plays, whereas Sparking Zero, we know it plays like BT2, BT3, you know, we can go back and play those games and kind of get a grasp of what Sparking Zero is going to emulate, but probably not exactly be like, whereas this game, like, like just from the character trailer alone, like them showing us a close range fighter, a mid range fighter and a long range fighter, it just kind of seems like they're trying to get us to a more comfortable spot at just getting to know these characters and how each one is going to be like each category of character is going to be looked at and seen. Um, let me know how you feel in the comments below. Not going to lie. I don't think these character trailers really hyped up the game for me but it still makes it like it's still nice to see some form of gameplay but definitely still want to see a full match without further ado it's been your boy trigger to die peace